One of the most important features of the site is that it was almost unexplored before our arrival here. The only archaeological excavation performed at the site in 1887 was carried on for just two months by the German archaeologist Robert Koldewey. Robert John Koldewey was born on 10th September 1855 in a small city in the Duchy of Brunswick, Germany, called Blankenburg. He first moved to Brunswick, attending the local gymnasium and then into Altona, near Hamburg, achieving his habitur in 1875 at the Gymnasium Christianium. Koldewey was a self-trained archaeological historian of the classical era. In 1882, he was signed on as a participant to the excavation of ancient Assus in Turkey. Being an archaeologist for most of his life, he participated in and led many excavations, but the first excavation in Iraq was in 1887 to the south, in the Dikar province at Terzurgul and al Hiba, later identified as Nigging and Lagash. Later, he moved to Babylon, where he conducted the nearly 20 years of excavations. His excavation there was the first important excavation of the biblical city where he revealed the foundations of the Hetemenanki, the great ziggurat of Marduk, the Ishtar Gate, the royal palace and the wide processional roadway which passed through the heart of the city. He also developed several modern archaeological techniques, including the method to identify and excavate mud brick architecture. He died in Berlin on 4 February 1925 at the age of 70. Uh, he excavated uh, here uh, at Tel Sulgul um, just uh, two uh, narrow and long uh, trenches, one on, on uh, Mount A and one on Mount B, uh, bring, bringing to light several uh, objects now stored at the Museum of the Ancient Near East in Berlin. Between these objects, some uh, inscribed baked bricks uh, of Gudea that permitted the identification of the site with the ancient Sumerian city of Nigin. 